The Minutemen destroyed the Institute. The scattered settlements were finally free to create a government for the Commonwealth and to bring prosperity to the land. The sole survivor's companions took different paths in life after the Institute. Institute files proved that Dance was a synth, thoroughly disheartened and now disowned by everyone in the Brotherhood. He chose to excel himself for the rest of his days. The sole survivor came to him and offered him a chance to give his life meaning by retraining the Minutemen to become a proper army. He trained the Minutemen and led the 3rd Minutemen Company into battle, faithfully and bravely fighting for his adopted country, until he fell in battle in 2291. The 3rd Minutemen Company was nicknamed the Knights in his honor. The survivors of the Institute chose to flee the Commonwealth after being defeated in battle. With the help of the railroad, they emigrated far to the west. Director Justin Ayo decided to leave X-688 in the Commonwealth as a spy and to communicate with the railroad as needed. Secretly, however, Justin Ayo did not trust X-688. He felt that anyone connected to the sole survivor in any way could not be trusted. As the years passed, the Institute stopped calling him. X-688, or James as people knew him, took menial jobs in the Commonwealth and lived a quiet life. Slowly, he faded into the background. McCready served as a sniper with the 4th Minuteman Company in the Gunner and Raider Wars. He then spent some time as a marksman instructor at the Fort Strong Special Warfare School. Eventually he got tired of being in the military. He returned home to raise his son in the Capital Wasteland along with his new wife. After the Institute defeat, Kate wandered the wasteland without purpose. She had several run-ins with law enforcement and the Vault 95 rehab treatment slips. She struggled with dependency problems for a few years. One day while wandering the capital wasteland she ran into MacReady and they bonded over their experiences in the Commonwealth. MacReady helped her manage her dependency problems and they eventually settled into marital bliss. They now have four kids. Piper helped write the first draft of the Commonwealth Constitution. She insisted that freedom of speech be the first and most important right that any citizen could have. Using that freedom, she constantly questioned those in power and kept them accountable to the public. After discovering several other wordsmiths in the Commonwealth, they built up public occurrences and they expanded the reach of the paper until you could find a copy of the paper as far south as Miami. As one of the main organizers of the Commonwealth and the financier of the Minutemen in the early years, Hancock won a landslide victory and was elected as the first president of the Commonwealth. His political skills helped immediate disagreements in Congress, rebuild the Commonwealth, and slowly expand the Commonwealth to its pre-war boundaries and beyond. Curie patriotically did her part providing medical care for injured Minutemen during the Gunner, Raider, and Far Harbor Wars, eventually rising to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Realizing that the Commonwealth needed better medical care, she spearheaded the government's drive to reopen hospitals in the region, starting with Medford Medical Center. Due to her efforts, Mass Bay Medical, Meaton General, and several smaller clinics reopened. Eventually, she became Surgeon General of the Commonwealth. When the sole survivor left the Commonwealth, he left Cotsworth in the care of the Mechanist and the Commonwealth Robotics Collective. The Mechanist, along with Ada and Mill, refurbished and built robots to help rebuild the Commonwealth. Cotsworth was rebuilt several different times in different configurations to clear away the rubble in the city, dig the subway tunnels, and clear high radiation zones in the city. Strong tells stories of soul survivor to brothers. Brothers like stories. Make strong chief. One day hear noise from south. Noise call brothers to glowing sea. Strong lead tribe to glowing sea. Find brothers from many tribes waiting there. Wait for the one called master to arrive. Soon, super mutants return to take commonwealth. After the sole survivor promoted him to Colonel of the Minutemen, Preston led the Minutemen through three wars. After Far Harbor, however, Preston was exhausted and took charge of a frontier outpost on the edge of the glowing sea. But once again, he finds himself at the front lines, protecting his commonwealth from a new menace. 
Deacon served the Minutemen as a scout in the Gunner War and later as a mediator between the Commonwealth and the Acadia Sins. Due to his close ties with the Commonwealth, the leadership of the railroad openly questioned his loyalties. He became disillusioned with the railroad as they became increasingly radical. Sometime after 2293, he disappeared. Dogmeat went on to sire several litters of puppies, many of whom still roam the Commonwealth to this day. The sole survivor, well known for his feats and for his role in defeating the Institute, was given the title of General of the Minutemen. Although many wanted him to remain as the first president of the Commonwealth, he chose to find adventure elsewhere. This story shall also be told. So we're not good enough to be in this dumb video? Man, this sucks. Is that the end? Are we done shooting? I was told that there would be a free lunch.